start to finish and today we're going to make something uh, really special. We're going to uh, to make some muscadine jelly and uh, I don't know how many of you uh, have ever seen a muscadine but this is what it looks like. Uh, I've got seven pounds of them here and uh, they're huge. Did you get those at the store? I got them at Walmart. Uh, long time ago, down south, I used to climb trees, and uh, there'd be grapevines, or not grapevines, but mus uh, muscadine vines growing in the trees. I'd climb the trees, and I'd pick them. And uh, I'd have a sack full, and by the time I got home, I had about a half a sack full, because they're really, really good. They're tart it, um, uh, to eat them, uh, but uh, and they've got seed, but they're delicious. But anyway, we've got our ingredients here. We've got some sure gel, and uh, we've got a bag of sugar. And it's on this bag that says, give me some sugar. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Just gave uh, you some. And, uh, and we've got our pint jars. So uh, anyway, we're going to, we've washed them. We pulled the stems off, and now we're ready to uh, go over to the stove and put them in a deep pan and we're going to smash them and cook the juice out of them. So here we go. Okay, we came over here a while ago uh, with our mus muscadines and uh, started smashing them. And uh, it was um, spraying us. <laughs> and it was also, uh, they're, they're uh, really tough. So uh, it would have been a bigger job. So we decided to go ahead and cut them in half, which is what my mother used to do when I was a kid anyway works better, get more juice out of it this way quicker. The instructions with a sure gel says put um, a cup and a half of water to, to um, three and a half pounds of, of grapes. And we're using the grape uh, recipe. So I've got seven pounds, I'm putting three cups of water. Then we're going to uh, place our uh, heat on high to, until it starts boiling and then we're going to turn it down to low medium and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, we've uh, brought our pan of cooked, uh, cooked out muscadine juice over here and uh, put it on a hot pad and uh, we have, uh, we went to uh, to the store and bought some cheesecloth. Uh, for the instruction, we put three layers of it in here and wet it. So now we're going to strain the juice uh, through the cheesecloth. All right, we've uh, let this sit here and drip for, uh, it's been about 15 minutes now. Um, and uh, what we uh, wanted to do is let it cool off enough to where I could bundle it up and gently squeeze the rest of the uh, juice out. All right, we are following following the uh, sure gel instructions exactly. I've got five cups of muscadine juice and I've got seven cups of sugar exactly by the instructions. Now I had a little bit of juice left over and you, you, you're tempted to pour it in there too. <laughs> And then the whole recipe will be uh, messed up and it won't gel properly. So now we're going uh, to take uh, take this over to our big uh, pan and start uh, making some gel. Are you adding the sugar now? No, I'm going to add. I'm going to put the juice in and uh, uh, put the sure gel in and stir it real good. And then we're going to bring that to a boil. Uh, and then, uh, once it's to a good rolling boil, we're going to pour the sugar in and uh, stir it real good. And we're going to uh, cook it for one, exactly one minute according to the instructions. All right, uh, we're just about to a boil here. In fact, it just started boiling. So, yeah, keep stirring. Yeah. Keep stirring. And, uh, Is it a full rolling boil yep. that you can't stir down? Yep. So we got to dump the 
dump that sugar in. Yep. And keep stirring. Stir, stir, stir. And when it comes back to a full rolling boil, you said then we boil it for exactly one minute? One minute, yep. I'll set the timer over here. Oh boy, that looks good. That looks delicious. Got some biscuits made? I'll have some. <laughs> okay, we're taking, uh, taking our juice off of the stove and we're going to dip the foam out so it'll be nice and clear and put it in the jars. All right, we've got the, uh, the jelly ready to go in the jars. And so uh, that's what we're going to do right now. And it is hot. And it does smell good. It's really pretty and clear, too. We're going to put these jars in a water bath. And some people I know don't do that. But we've got... Uh, pan of water, big pan of water on the stove heating right now uh, to, uh, to place these jars in and uh, run through the water. Boy, that looks beautiful. Alright, we've about got our uh, muscadine uh, jelly made here. So I'm going to uh, wipe off the tops of these jars and right now it's still really hot. hot them off really well and I've got my lids over in some hot water in a bowl over to the side. But we want to make sure these are good and cleaned off so that they'll seal properly. Next we're going to uh, take our lids out, out of the uh, hot water and we're going to take some rings. One's ready to go into the water bath. We've got our water heated up in the water bath, and <clears throat> the little trick we're going to do is we're going to put about a tablespoonful of vinegar in the water to uh, keep it from staining the jars. <clears throat> Sometimes hard water will stain the jars, and that will uh, really improve that. So now I'm going to go over and get the jars. Drop them in slowly. Make sure they're all covered. That's just just about right. Put the lid. Put the lid on, and uh, since it's already up to a boil, uh, we're going to uh, let them heat for five minutes. I'll set the timer. Okay, here's the finished product. We got four pints of muscadine jelly and it's beautiful. It's clear through it and I can't hardly wait to uh, have one of your biscuits Mary and uh, try this out. I can't wait to try it either. You make better jelly than I do Wayne. Well I've got a good teacher. <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to uh, Start to Finish and uh, I please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, when we uh, when we get to 500, uh, when I get to 500 subscriptions, we're going to have a giveaway. So please don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe. And uh, until next time, uh, this is Wayne from Start to Finish, and thank you for tuning in. Bye now.